is getting too long. No! <laughs> Your hair is getting in the way, Rosie. Don't you remember? <gasps> Watch out for the... <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert! <laughs> Your hair keeps getting in my face! Right this way, please. Great, thank you. It'll be fun, Rosie, I promise. Plus, they'll be able to get this out. <gasps> Rosie, ugh, it's really stuck. It's really in there. I think we're going to need to cut it out. <gasps> cut? Don't worry, Rosie. It won't hurt. Oh. <sighs> Aha! The old clay clump in your hair problem. We'll have this out in no time. Pink! You like it? Aw, oh, thank you. We'll do something great with your hair, too, <laughs> little one. <gasps> Mommy! Oh, Rosie. Don't be scared. Yeah, Rosie. Haircuts are great. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> you could get funny clown hair like me. <laughs> or uh, how about <gasps> Ta-da! <sighs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that looks great on you, Caillou. Or Guess my hair is too long, too. <laughs> this one's super colorful. Butterfly. Oh, huh? you like that? <laughs> well, then, I know just what I'll do. Can I? There goes the clay. <laughs> You're doing great, Rosie. <laughs> oh, it's just a little water, Rosie. Just getting your hair wet so I can keep cutting it. See? <laughs> just water. <laughs> Tickles. Can I have some? <laughs> Just pretend you're on a boat. <laughs> and now for the finishing touch. Oh, butterfly! That looks beautiful, Rosie. Yeah, told you haircuts can be fun. Yeah. 
Do you kids want to get? Hmm. A horse? <laughs> <laughs> a horse might be a little too big for our house. <laughs> a goat? <laughs> that might be a bad idea. <laughs> I think a bunny is perfect. Yeah! <laughs> hmm. But which one? I like that brown one. <gasps> oh, what about you? Looks like someone made the choice for you. Let's call him Nibbles. Yay, Nibbles! Come here, Nibbles. <laughs> Nibbles love Rosie. Hmm. It's my turn to play with him. is going to love his hutch. <laughs> Caillou, can you pass me the hammer? <sighs> I don't think Nibbles likes me. Nibbles loves you, Caillou, but maybe you need to be a bit more gentle with him. Yeah, let him come to you. <sighs> All done. Ta-da! Huh? <laughs> Need a hand? <laughs> Let's uh, try this again. Ta-da! <gasps> I'll go get nibbles. <gasps> <gasps> nibbles, it's time to see your hutch. Taking a step back. Oh, but I want to play with Nibbles. 
Yes, but you're really excited and being a bit loud. You're scaring the little fella. I'm scaring him? Imagine you were a bunny. How would you like someone to come up to you? Try being slow and gentle. <laughs> Give it a shot, Caillou. Don't be scared, Nibbles. I'm nice. Caillou nice, Nibbles. <laughs> yes, I did it! I mean, yes, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it would stop storming. <gasps> what was that? <gasps> it looks like the wind made the tree fall during the storm. Tree go back up? I don't think so, Rosie. <gasps> My swing! Can we fix it? I'm sorry, Caillou. We have to say bye to the tire swing, too. Uh, but I don't like saying bye. <gasps> Where will Gilbert sit now? The tree was always his favorite spot. <laughs> I remember the first time I brought Gilbert to the tree. Welcome to your new home, Gilbert. This is the garden. Oh, Gilbert, all this new stuff must be scary. Ah! Huh? The tree won't hurt you, Gilbert. Trees give us shade, and you can sit under them when you're tired. Like this. And from up in the branches, you can see everything. The tree wasn't only Gilbert's favorite. Mm -hmm. It was Rosie's <laughs> favorite, too. Rosie loved the tree! <laughs> Rosie loved the tree! <laughs> Caillou, someone wants to meet you. Say hello to your little sister, Rosie. Don't worry, Caillou. It's normal for babies to cry. How do we make her stop? We just need to figure out a way to make Rosie feel better. I know. Maybe it's too bright? Maybe a hug from her big brother will help. A hug? From me? But she's so little. Give it a try. You're her big brother, after all. But I don't know how to be a big brother. Make sure to hold her head. She stopped crying. You've got the magic touch. You're a great big brother already, Caillou. Phew! Well, my favorite memory of the tree is from way before then. My favorite is the day we moved here. <laughs> and we planted the tree together. Wait, 
We planted the tree? I don't remember that. Or was I? You weren't born yet. <laughs> you were in my belly. A new house, a new tree, and soon a new baby. That's a lot of new. It's okay to worry when things feel so new, but that doesn't mean they won't be great. We just have to take it one day at a time. Do? Mommy, Caillou, would you like to do the honors? We'd love to. Now we can make new memories with a new tree. While always thinking fondly of the old memories. <laughs> We're ready for the fair, Mommy. I want to ride the whirly chairs. They make you so dizzy. Fair! Oh, I don't think we'll be able to go today. Mommy's not feeling very well. But, no fair? I'm sorry, you two. Are you sure you can't take us, Daddy? I'm sorry, I have to work. Dr. Caillou's orders. Mm, very interesting. Mm. We need bandages, Nurse Rosie. Mm. Huh. Teddy? Teddy will do. Oh. Hmm. We need 50, no, 100 Teddy hugs, Rosie. Oh, of course. Tickle hug one, <laughs> tickle hug two. Three, four, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred. Oh, I'm up. Great work, Rosie and Teddy. Now, Mommy, you rest, and I'll talk with Nurse Rosie in the hall. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Oh, Mommy, not better. No, we need to call an A. 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 B. C. We need some help. Who can we get to help? Daddy! <gasps> nurse Daddy! Come in, Nurse Daddy! Code bright yellow! Code bright yellow! Over! Sorry, Caillou. Daddy's working. But me and Nurse Rosie need you. And Mommy. And mm. Mommy. Over. <laughs> <laughs> Nurse. 
Nurse Daddy will be right there. Huh? What? <laughs> uh oh. Uh huh? Mm hmm. Uh huh? Just as I thought. What is it, Nurse Daddy? Mommy has a serious case of the sniffle diffles. <gasps> We're going to need tissues. Lots and lots of tissues. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for all your help today. I'm sorry we couldn't go to the fair, <gasps> but you two... Oh, the fair! We were having so much fun, we forgot all about it! Oh, well... Maybe we should let Mommy rest. Just one more bit of medicine. One... Love you, Squeeze! <clears throat> Looks like we have another patient, Rosie. Uh oh. What are you doing? Uh, uh. Are you? You should be in bed. I'm... And you definitely should not be watching scary movies like this. You're too young. But it's not too scary. It's No fine. buts, Caillou. Off to bed. We'll talk about this in the morning. Scared. I'm big and I'm not scared. I'm not. Leave me alone.
just want to go home. I need... Teddy? What are you doing here? <gasps> Did you come to protect me? Thanks, Teddy. You're the best. <gasps> no! Stay away from me and Teddy! We're not scared of you anymore! <clears throat> I said, go away! Huh? Teddy? I'm up. I'm up. <sighs> Caillou, why aren't you in bed? There was a scary house, and a knight was chasing me, and I couldn't get away, and... You were right. I shouldn't have watched that scary movie. I'm really sorry. <sighs> get in here, kiddo. Me and Teddy will make you feel better. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Caillou. <laughs> Mommy! Mommy! Huh? <laughs> what, Caillou? Did you sell the cow? Yup. I traded her for some beans. Oh, beans? Mm hmm These are magic beans, Mommy. Oh, Caillou. His mommy didn't believe him, but Caillou knew the beans were magic. <gasps> so he planted them in the garden. The next day, a huge beanstalk grew, reaching up into the clouds. <sighs> so Caillou climbed it all the way to the very top to see what was there. Caillou? It's all the noise. Bum. Bum. You're supposed to be helping Rosie go to sleep, Caillou. Beanstalk! Beanstalk! Uh, <laughs> sorry, Daddy. I'll tell a different story. All right. Good night, you two. Good night. Okay. This is the story of Little Red Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> Little Red Rosie Hood was taking a basket of food to her grandma's house. <laughs> but on the way, she ran into the big, bad,
Rosie Locks found a table with bowls of yummy spaghetti Ooh. on it. <laughs> the first bowl was too hot. <laughs> and the second bowl was too cold. But the third bowl was just right. <laughs> Rosie Locks was tired, so she looked for somewhere to sleep. She found three beds. The first was way too big and squishy. The second was too hard. But the third bed was just right. But just then, the three bears that lived in the house came home. Who's been sleeping in our beds? <sighs> Being stuck. The bears were really mad at Rosie Locks for sleeping in their beds. Uh. <sighs> but they decided to let her sleep. The end. Night, Rosie. <laughs> well, what happened next? Okay, everyone, I know we're all excited for today because it's dress-up day! <gasps> Remember, the only rule on dress-up day is to wear something that makes you feel... Happy! <laughs> That's right. Well, what are you waiting for? Go! <laughs> Come on, Jeffrey. Pick something so we can start playing. Hmm. I'm not sure yet. You guys start playing and I'll catch up. Treasure hunt. <laughs> <laughs> the treasure is that way. Oh. <laughs> 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 but there's no treasure. Yeah, there is. It's uh. The treasure is uh. It's the lost treasure of recess. <laughs> Watch out! Ninjas! Uh, <gasps> what do we do? I say we battle them. Maybe we can fly away. <laughs> uh, we need some help. Dressed as Jeffrey. I am a fairy warrior. Wow, awesome. 
Were all the other costumes taken? No, I just like this one. Magic is the coolest. But a fairy is a girl's costume. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. Is it? Why? Uh, mm. It's just what I wanted to wear. Uh, maybe you can be a Viking or a pirate or, um... No! Oh. <gasps> Jeffrey dropped his wand. That wasn't very nice. We only told him it was a girl's costume. So we could help him pick out the right one. <sighs> Remember what Mrs. Martin said. The only rule on dress-up day is wear something that makes you happy. <sighs> he did seem really happy. Hey, Jeffrey! You dropped your wand. <laughs> Don't want it. But you need it to beat the ninjas. And you need your wings to fly. Your fairy warrior was really cool. And magic is the best. <laughs> Sorry for what we said about your costume, Jeffrey. You can wear anything you want. And if it makes you happy, then it's perfect for dress-up day. a great view from over here. Those must be part of the Lunar New Year celebration. That sure is a nice sweater you got on, Caillou. Thank you. Sarah said to wear red for good luck. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Happy Lunar New Year. Hi, Caillou. <laughs> Thank you for inviting Caillou over for dinner. We'll pick him up in a few hours. It's our pleasure. We're so excited to have you here, Caillou. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> here are some slippers to wear. Caillou. <laughs> Jin Yan Hao. Huh? It means Happy New Year. Oh, Jin uh, Yan Hao. <laughs> huh? Wow. What one? Yeah, I love oranges. My parents make sure we put out oranges on Lunar New Year for good luck. Yum! This good luck orange is delicious. <laughs> <gasps> is that a dragon? Yeah, that's the dragon dance. The dragon scares away bad luck and brings us good luck. <sighs> Rah! Go away, bad luck! <laughs> Rah! Dragon doesn't have wings. Chinese dragons don't have big wings. They swoop and dance like this, Caillou. <laughs> Sarah, Caillou, time for Yashui Shen. <gasps> Yay! What's that? It's this red envelope. <gasps> Kids, 
get these red envelopes filled with money. Wow, thank you. To a safe and peaceful year for Sarah and Caillou. What are you going to do with your money? We shouldn't waste this. You're right. We should buy something important, like... Candy! <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some fish, Caillou? Uh, yes, please. We eat fish on Lunar New Year because it brings us success. can be hard to learn. Try these special ones instead. Oh. Yum! After dinner, it's time for more fireworks. More fireworks? I was worried I missed them. Three, two, one! <laughs> Your parents are here to pick you up. Oh, does he have to go? It's time for both of you to get to bed so you can be fresh for your first day of the year. <laughs> Did you know that dragons dance to scare away bad luck? Is that so? And did you know I can use chopsticks now? It's so easy. <gasps> You sure learned a lot tonight. Yeah, and... Did you know it's time for bed? Uh, happy Lunar New Year, Mommy and Daddy. Happy, happy Lunar, Lunar New, New Year, Year Caillou. Caillou. Leo, do you want to go first for show and tell this morning? Oh, uh, I'll go first. <sighs> Wonderful. Remember to use the How Am I Feeling board when you tell us all about your weekend. <laughs> <clears throat> this weekend was my grandma's birthday, and I felt... <gasps> well, I felt a lot of feelings, Mrs. Martin. Why don't we take them one by one? <laughs> First, I felt confused because I had to pick a cake, but there were so many to choose from. <laughs> Caillou, <gasps> which one would Grandma like? Red is Grandma's favorite color. <laughs> <laughs> How did that make you feel, Caillou? <gasps> Proud! I was in charge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love being the boss. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Jason. What was next, Caillou? <clears throat> um, we had to pick a gift for Grandma. I was a bit... nervous, because I had to really think about what Grandma would like. We went to a store, but it only had grown-up things. No toys anywhere. Ugh. What about these, Daddy? Oh, those are 
<laughs> special, Caillou. But do you think Grandma would like them? Ooh. Ew! Bugs are scary. Oh! Oh! feel sad, but I tried to look for something better. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. <gasps> 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 look, it looks like the flowers in Grandma's garden. Perfect. <laughs> Grandma will love it. Mm. Oh no, that was for my Grandma. Well, hang on, Caillou. This lady got it first. But roses are Grandma's favorite flower. <gasps> I felt disappointed when I couldn't get Grandma the sweater, but then extra happy when the lady let me buy it. She sounds like a kind lady. She was, but later, I felt really not happy because Mommy made me wear an itchy sweater that Grandma made for my birthday. Itchy sweaters are worse than books. Yup, I felt a bit grumpy. But <laughs> Grandma was really happy I wore it. Oh, Caillou, the sweater I made you. <laughs> That must have made you feel very <laughs> worried. Aww. I'm sorry, Grandma. I ruined your birthday cake, and I ruined your birthday, and I ruined... You did no such thing, Caillou. In fact, you brought me the most thoughtful gift. But... What is it, Caillou? Uh, I don't like the sweater you gave me. I like it because you gave it to me, but it's so itchy. I'm sorry. Oh, Caillou, I'm so glad you're telling me. Really? Why, yes. It was so kind of you to wear it, even though you didn't like it because you knew it would make me happy. But it's okay to wear something you like better instead. Mm. And as for the cake... My favorite gift is spending time with you, Caillou. So maybe we can bake another together? I felt a lot of things on Grandma's birthday, but... I learned that when others were kind, it made me feel happy. And even when I was confused about feelings, I could choose to be kind, and that made everything okay. <laughs>